Tough times require grown-up faith, and we know that faith grows by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. This is chapter by chapter, a summary of every chapter in the New Testament. We hope you'll listen, then read the whole chapter in your Bible. In Romans chapter 2, we're back in court. Before we can appreciate God's grace, we first must be convinced of our guilt. The legalist is now on trial. Be careful when you point a finger at someone else. Four more are pointing back at you. You melt a sinful heart not by cold stares of condemnation, but by bathing a buddy in the warmth of God's grace. It's love, not legalism, that leads a man to God. Paul reminds us that God is the judge. If you insist on good works in others, he'll insist on them in you. Remember, it's not enough to know the law. Our churches are full of legal experts, quick to tell us what's right and wrong. They police the church from their pew, but they seldom practice what they preach. The Jews have the law on stone tablets. The Gentiles have the law inscribed in their conscience. But having it is not obeying it. The bottom line, we've all blown it. Rituals like circumcision or baptism don't make a person righteous. It's not outward compliance that pleases God, but an inner attitude of allegiance. A child of God is not a person who's conformed outwardly to a standard, but has been transformed inwardly by the Spirit. The legalist wears his rituals on his chest as medals that signify his spiritual rank, but God is unimpressed. God looks below the lapel. He looks at the heart. 